The Keenan 522 trial was the first phase three trial of preoperative chemotherapy in combination with the immune checkpoint inhibitor pembolizumab, followed by surgery, followed by active pembolizumab for another six months. At ESMA 2024, I had the privilege to present the long-awaited oral survival data. Just to remind you of the design, the trial was designed for patients with stage two or stage three triple negative breast cancer. Patients were randomized 2 to one towards chemotherapy and the immune checkpoint inhibitor pembolizumab for six months, followed by surgery and pembolizumab for six months, or to chemotherapy and placebo, followed by surgery and placebo. The chemotherapy regimen we selected for this trial was the most effective chemotherapy regimen, combining 12 weeks of weekly paclitaxel and carboplatin, followed by AC or EC for another 12 weeks. The trial had two primary endpoints, co-primary endpoints, short-term endpoint PATH-CR, and we presented here at ESMO 2019, in fact, the, 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 the first uh, PATH-CR data demonstrating a, a significant and meaningful in increase in PATH-CR rates by about 30.6% to just under 65%. The second primary endpoint is event-free survival, and after three years of follow-up, we presented the first time a significant reduction in recurrences with a hazard ratio of 0.65. We have since presented five-year data, and what's really interesting to see and is expected in triple negative breast cancer, where most of the recurrences tend to occur relatively early. We see about 60, 70% of recurrences in the first two to three years. We see about 90, 95% of recurrences in the five years. And so we see between year three and five that the curves are flattening out, the hazard ratio remains stable, and at the five year time point was 0.65. Here at ESMO 2024 in Barcelona, I presented the 75 months follow-up data. And in terms of event-free survival, again, the signal has remained absolutely stable, showing the plateauing of the event-free survival curves. The five-year absolute event-free survival rates are about 81% for patients who were treated with chemotherapy and pembolizumab, and about 72% for patients who received chemotherapy alone. That's a hazard ratio of 0.65, and of course, significant and meaningful. But the most important bit of new information on the Keynote 5 to 2 trial is the long-awaited overall survival data. We have 75 months of follow-up. We have seen it, we saw a significant and meaningful improvement of overall survival. Hazard ratio is 0.66, which means a 34% reduction in the risk of death, associated and linked with, with, with the treatment we provided to the patients. The benefit in terms of overall survival is consistent across all subgroups, whether it's by PD1 status, PD1 positive, or PD1 negative by stage, by tumor size, by lymph node involvement. And that's again really important because we are unable clinically to identify a group of patients where we shouldn't consider a combination of chemotherapy and the immune checkpoint inhibitor. An interesting pre-planned analysis, which we previously did for event-free survival and have now done for overall survival as well, looked at the outcome of patients with a PATH-CR, so optimal response, or with residual disease at the time of surgery. And we were able to show uh, with event-free survival that possibly the quality of a PATH-CR may be different if it's achieved with chemotherapy and immune therapy. We saw 4% delta in, in, in the event-free survival rates in patients with a PATH-CR. But probably even more importantly, we saw a much better outcome in terms of recurrences for patients who receive chemotherapy and immune therapy compared to chemotherapy alone. Now with overall survival, those, those data are confirmed. We see a substantially better overall survival in patients who have residual disease, but have this after chemotherapy and immune therapy compared to patients who had chemotherapy alone. The absolute delta is about 6% at this point in time. With a long-term follow-up now, we have also updated the, the safety results. We haven't seen any new safety signals, no long-term uh, uh, safety signals occurred. And the analysis is very much in, in, in keeping with, with what we previously reported and what has been reported for other studies of chemotherapy and immune therapy and the combination. So in summary, the Keynote 522 trial had two co-primary endpoints for neoadjuvant chemotherapy and immune therapy in stage two and stage three triple negative breast cancer, demonstrating both a significant improvement in PATH-CR rates to about 65% and a significant reduction in recurrences by about 35%. But most importantly, we can now say that all of this benefit seems to be translating in an overall survival benefit, reducing the risk of death by about 34%.